Hey everyone, PJ here. And I know I'm a little late to the party, but I've had a lot on my plate lately. Now, as you all know, on March 1st, 2024, we sadly lost Akira Toriyama at the age of 68. When I first found out about his passing, it hit me hard as someone who grew up with stuff like Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Quest. Toriyama was one of, if not the most influential people in anime and manga, and his work shaped anime into what it is today, with many other manga creators citing him as a source of inspiration. Millions of people looked up to him, myself included, so you can imagine how much his death shook the industry. And what hit me the hardest was how sudden it was. I don't think anyone could have seen this coming since 68 is still a relatively young age. And yet... Some people have started gossiping about him right after his death. Such as this excuse for a human being. I'm not going to mention her real name since I don't want to give this sushi-brained ass clown any more publicity than I need to, but I'm going to call her by a variety of different insults. You see, Scrotum Queen over here is the founder and CEO of a company called Sweet Baby Inc., which already has so many controversies that I might have to give it its own separate video, but back on topic. On the very day Toriyama was pronounced dead, Shovelface had the audacity to post this on Twitter, clearly referring to characters like Mr. Popo, Killa, and Officer Black. But here's the thing, none of these characters were made with race intent. Mr. Popo is based off the Hindu god Mahakala, and from what I've read, Killa and Officer Black were meant to poke fun at racial stereotypes. And I'd like to remind all of you that this was posted on the very day. This was posted mere hours after Akira Toriyama was pronounced dead. This person didn't have the balls to call out Toriyama while he was still alive. No, this absolute waste of sperm waited for Toriyama to die so she could call him out like the absolute chicken shit that she is. This later got her account suspended, but later got reinstated, but all of her tweets are now private because, again, she's a coward. And apparently she was born on November 26th. The reason why I bring that up is because I'm surprised she wasn't born on April 1st because her very existence is a fucking joke. Donkey Teeth, if you're watching this, then I wish nothing but the absolute worst for you for the rest of your miserable fucking life. You are the kind of fucking stuck-up loser who shits on everyone, shits on things people like, and spits on the graves of the recently deceased, tries to make, tries to make everything seem problematic when it really isn't, and then wonders why nobody fucking likes you. You are the type of person to dismiss all criticism as people being racist and hide away like the fucking coward you are whenever you're faced with the consequences of your own actions. And all of this to cope with the fact that you will never, fucking ever, reach the same level as Akira Toriyama, the most influential face in the anime and manga industry, whose work brought millions of people together, changed the lives of so many people, millions upon millions of people all over the world looked up to this guy, and you're salty because you'll never be as loved as he is. Toriyama's name will forever be immortalized and remembered until the end of time. Meanwhile, your name will be forgotten the moment you kick the bucket. You'll never know what it's like to have millions upon millions of people look up to you. You'll never know how it feels to have an entire crowd of people tune in to see your latest release. You'll never know what it feels like to be as loved and respected as Toriyama was, because you can't help but be a disrespectful little bitch until the day you die and wonder why no one fucking likes you. I'm embarrassed to even inhabit the same planet as you. To breathe the same oxygen as you are. You are a waste of semen that should have been swallowed the moment you shot out of your dad's cockhole. The fact that your tweets are now private speaks volumes about your character because it shows just how well you handle criticism. So I hope you're fucking proud of yourself. Because you just made an enemy out of the entire anime and manga industry. As always, my name is PJ, and I'm gonna go get ice cream. Rest in peace, Akira Toriyama. Arigato Yasuraka Ninemuru. You're gonna be forgotten like the dust in the sand when you're in the fucking Sahara and there's hundred million, thousand billion fucking sand particles. You're gonna be one of those, and I'm gonna be a statue erected in gold. So I'm gonna... You ain't never gonna slow me down, cause I feel alive now.